In the coming years, we will use dramatically less fossil fuels. Electricity will become the most important supply of energy, and that electricity is increasingly coming from renewable sources. By 2030, no less than 32% of energy in Europe must come from renewable energy sources. From wind, from the sun, from tides. But we can't manage it, if only because we just don't have enough room. Much of our renewable energy will have to come from elsewhere. From offshore wind farms much further out to sea, from the ocean, for example. Or from solar power stations in the Sahara. And if we can also bring this energy to our regions, then we can provide a huge number of families and businesses with green energy in the coming years. Only, sun and wind have one major disadvantage. You can't turn them on or off. Sometimes there's too much, sometimes too little. So, the big challenge is, how do we get that energy to the right place at the right time? And that's when the port of Zeebrugge comes into the picture. Everything is available. The green energy from our offshore wind farms is already being landed at high voltage stations. Natural gas ships and pipelines arrive from all over the world. The existing LNG infrastructure could possibly also be used in the future for the storage and distribution of renewable energy. Zeebrugge has an enormous storage and transit capacity. We have the know-how, the many years of experience, the vision for the future, and the desire to find innovative solutions for the energy issues of tomorrow. You can make hydrogen with water and electricity, for example. You can save as much of that as you want for windless days or when there's not enough sun. In a later stage, you can make electricity from the hydrogen. Power up anything, wherever you like. The only thing left is water. No exhaust gases, no CO2. If you combine hydrogen with CO2, you get methanol or methane gas. Like hydrogen, methane gas is an important raw material for the chemical industry, like Antwerp's chemical industry. This can be perfectly managed via the existing natural gas network. Zeebrugge is also in an excellent location for this. Zeebrugge is the ideal hub for connecting the energy networks of the future. Today, these systems exist in isolation. But if we connect them, deficits or reserves can be absorbed. If there is one place where we can make the transition to a sustainable and green economy based on sun, wind and water, then it's here, in the port of Zeebrugge.